Joey Barton charged over malicious communications. Evening, ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing? Uh, unfortunately, this isn't an old story that I've covered before. They're just doing the same thing they did with Tony Romo, and <laughs> they've decided they've got a public enemy number one for saying things that they don't like. Obviously, they being the overbearing authoritarian commies that run the world nowadays, uh, and he's now public enemy number one. It must have been some malevolence that he was communicating for him to get charged, surely. I mean, with all the murders and sex crimes and burglaries and full-blown riots that seem to fill the news every day these days, surely it must be an extremely malevolent communication. You know, like posting burning dog toffee through people's letterboxes, sending people severed fingers or ears and demanding ransoms. You know, really malevolent stuff, threatening to murder them. Obviously not via the medium of Twitter because everyone gets them, including me, because it's low effort and takes four seconds. So it shouldn't even be a thing anymore. I'm talking about real malevolence for the police to have targeted a public figure, right? Surely. On his ex-account, the 41-year-old said he had been charged over tweets relating to broadcaster and multiple league title winner Eniola Alugo. <sighs> Not malevolent then, eh? <laughs> Not even slightly malevolent. Basically charged for tweeting. And you all know what the tweets are, because we've been over this. We we've done this, haven't we? I'm sick of doing it. He voiced an opinion that he didn't think any Alugo was a very good commentator, and now he's been prosecuted. They definitely aren't authoritarian, overbearing statists, are they? No, of course not. Right then, as usual, when Joey Barton's in the news now that he's public enemy number one, it's a non-story. I shouldn't even be talking about it, really. If the world was sane, we could all go to Weatherspoons and have a nice pint. But alas, it's 2024. You live in the UK. Fortunately, I don't anymore, which is why I'm not getting my uh, front door kicked in and then rogered over the kitchen table by PC McBastard. But, uh, but you are, so I guess I'll have to cover the news for you, because if you talk about it, they'll send the SAS round and someone will round out your lips off. Ex-footballer Joey Barton has been charged with making malicious communications. The former Man City, Burnley and Rangers player is due to appear in court later this month. Unbelievable. Due to appear in court later this month. Think of that. Think of that. There was a 12-year-old girl in Rotherham who got dragged above a greasy kebab shop and rogered more than a copper's radio and nobody did anything about it for seven years. That way she was like a grown woman and she was constantly writing angry letters to her MP before they did anything about it. Seven years. But if you send any a Lugo, in fact, I don't think he even sent her it directly, did he? If you go on a public forum and say any a Lugo is not a very good commentator, they'll have you up in court faster than you can say diversity higher. On his ex-account, the 41-year-old said he'd been charged over tweets relating to broadcaster and multiple league title winner Eniola Aluko, Cheshire Police and the charges concern messages. They just had to drop that in there, didn't they? Multiple league title winner. That doesn't mean you're a good commentator. Alan Shearer was an absolute leg end and was mint when he played for Blackburn Rovers. Almost single-handedly won them the title, but it doesn't mean he's a good commentator. In fact, he's got about as much personality as a house brick. Have you heard him speak? He's just an android with football boots. <laughs> so I don't know what this means. They're obviously trying to give us some credibility, aren't they? Anyway, Cheshire Police said the charges concerned messages sent between the 1st and the 18th of January. In a statement, a four spokesman said a man from Witness had been summoned to court to face charges of malicious communication. They added that following a police investigation, the Crown Prosecution Service had authorised the charges for Joseph Barton. I almost said, is it settling in yet? But I know everybody who watches this channel by now, <laughs> it's, oh, it's settled. It's well settled. People like David Starkey have been saying for years, bless him, that the people who cancelled him would love to lock him up. And he said they would. They'd put you in the gulag, you know. Is he exaggerating? Does anybody even remotely sane think that the bloke should be going to crown, getting prosecuted, it's gone to the crown court? Because he went on Twitter and said, any Aluko is not a very good commentator and I don't like her and I don't think she'd have the, she should have the job. Is a man not entitled to his opinion? He was far less rude about her than, well, I would have been in his position because I'm a bit immature and I'd throw childish insults at her. Probably something along the lines of Sean Wright Phillips looks good since he grew his hair out. 
So as I keep saying, it's a good job. I've now got an American passport. And I'm very concerned that when I <laughs> rock up at Heathrow, a large man with rubber gloves will rock up and decide, despite the fact I'm a 44-year-old married man with no previous convictions, that he's probably going to have to check my sphincter for large amounts of <laughs> opioids. <laughs> it's, a, it's a strange state of affairs, isn't it? Aluko, who won, well, plenty of meaningless women's titles, which mean absolutely nothing to anybody who's actually got any real interest in football, was part of ITV's broadcast team for the recent Euros in Germany. <laughs> Even the BBC, they're just trolling us, aren't they? they? They reel off a whole paragraph here. Wow, amazing. Juventus, England, 102 appearances. Wow. Then it says, Barton played for Manchester City and it ended at Burnley. <laughs> You do have to laugh at top-level trolling from the Thought Police at the BBC. Well done, lads. He then managed Fleetwood Town and went to Bristol Rovers and has not taken up a managerial position since. And if you go to read about the story over on BBC News, they're obviously there proving me right as usual because when you click on the story, Joey Barton charged over malicious communications, there's one bloke in dissent at the top there saying, surely this must be some kind of mistake. And the rest of them are things like, Looks like his tweets were aggressive as his tackles. Lock him up. Good, says Mrs. Kensington. Great news on this Monday afternoon. <laughs> Tom, F around and find out. Yeah, but he didn't F around, did he? He just disagreed with the authoritarian walkists uh, and said some tweets. That isn't effing around. Effing around would be driving around her house, throwing her in the boot, driving her 14 miles away from her house and then leaving her, at leaving her atop of a hill, bound and gagged. That would be effing around. And then he should be getting prosecuted. But talking on Twitter, uh, well, you just shouldn't be, should you? And you lunatics think crowing about it makes you look, you know, clever and witty. It doesn't. It just proves me and David Starkey and everybody else right. you dangerous weirdos. And if you were in charge, everybody would be in jail. This is what I keep telling you lot. When the commies run things, everybody ends up in the gulag. Read the gulag archipelago. To keep the system moving, they just keep locking people up. Millions and millions and millions of people. And by the end of it, you've got people who've barely done anything. I mean, at least in that book, there's a kid who gets 15 years hard labour for graffiti. This isn't even graffiti, is it? Because nobody needs to scrub it off a wall. It's just saying things people don't like. And the haul you before the courts like a banana republic. There's a few sensible ones. Look, knife crime going wild and the coppers are investigating tweets. Yeah, weird that, innit? <laughs> One minute the police are running away from serious crime and disorder in Leeds and the next they're charging someone for voicing an opinion that 95% of the public agree with. Yeah, there you go. So we are where we always knew we were going to be. And what do I keep telling you? It's going to get worse before it gets better. Much, much worse. You don't get to vote your way out of this stuff. Eventually, they will come for everyone. You told the party line and you do exactly as you're told all the time or in the gulag you go. Just because we don't call them gulags in England doesn't mean they don't exist. They've just let out 40,000 violent criminals because they're making room for people that tweet in a manner that the state finds upsetting. <laughs> you have to laugh. At least I'll have someone to share a cell with that I'll get along with. Yeah, so when I land next time, and lock me up for, for mean tweets, because everyone knows that's awful. Um, at least, Joy, I'll share a selfie, you mate. P much better than sharing one with Matty Umbutu Umwanko. Uh, <laughs> because at least I won't have to keep the soap on a chain around my neck. Uh, but that's all I've got for today. Let me know what you think in the comments. As usual, it's absolutely ludicrous state of affairs over in the UK. And as I said, you just have to keep laughing because that's all we've got at this point. It's accelerated faster than I ever imagined. I, I can't even believe that what I was reading this morning. But there you go. As always, let me know what you think in the comments. Subscribe if you can be asked, And I'll see you all very soon. Toodle pip. Cheers. Mm -hmm.